here's the amazing thing. Today, I woke up to a call from my buddy that's like, hey man, I really need you to come out and, and do this keynote for me. It's like it's at the University of Central Florida and it's two hours away, but it's tonight. And I was like, fuck. My ultimate thing is I wanna be able to go out and give keynotes for universities and speak to uh, hungry college university kids because that's my ideal client, that's who I love to talk to. That's you if you're watching this video because you are who I love to work with. So the fact that I'm now getting the opportunity to go and talk to them, I'm like, oh shit. So I have my typical can presentation that I usually give with Tony. It's not really can, but it's my own thing, but it's more corporate so. in a sense. And this is more college kids, which is kind of stressing out about what do I talk about? Like, how do I frame this? What do I do? And I was giving it so much thought, so much energy, so much effort on what I was gonna talk about, when in reality, it's not really what you say, it's how you say it. Like, I know kind of what I wanna talk about, but I'm gonna go and hit the flow state where time disappears and then whatever comes to me, comes to me. What's so funny is that I spent the last 15, 20 minutes stressing about what I wanna wear. Cause normally when I do my company talks, always wear a full suit. But, you know, like there's like Gary Vaynerchuk and Tony Robbins at times and you know, some of these people that I look up to that don't wear suits in their keynotes. And I was like, ooh, college kids. I was like, let's not wear a suit. So I was debating whether to wear. So right now I'm rocking just casual V-neck, casual jeans and my Yeezys. And I was like, oh no, should I wear that? Or should I wear my super ultra custom fitted tailored suit? that makes me look like a million dollars and I just fucking love wearing this suit. Like I was gonna wear this, or then should I wear that? And then in my mind, I was stressing out. I was like, damn, what if they don't approve of what I'm wearing? What if they judge me? What if they don't like it? And I was in my head about what I'm gonna wear when in reality, no one really cares because it's ultimately how you show up and what you can deliver. And so I'm gonna rock it out in this because it makes me really uncomfortable and comfortable at the same time is because, comfortable because this is what I normally wear is just casual clothes like this uncomfortable because it's really rubbing against the norm of what everyone expects. So it's super exciting. Uh, let's make it happen. I got a special gift right now. Oh, it's my sister. Look at her. She's so cute. Oh, we're in black. Oh, oh my God. We're matching. I don't know how we always do this. We're always just wearing the same Always thing. wearing the same color. So we just, just picked her up. We're gonna drive two, down, two hours down to Orlando while everyone's driving up from the hurricane. We're going into the heart of that nigga. Yeah, shit. And <laughs> we're gonna go. Um, she's gonna be the videographer. Yes, I am. So, uh, update, updates coming your way. Uh, we made it. We're at UCF, aren't we? Yep, we made it. He's been screaming out the window for the past 20 minutes. Woo! There he is screaming at the houses. Okay, and we're about to make it to Lot H. Yep. Go to the psychology building and rock this so speech. So, I created this speech on the drive down, which was two hours. An hour was what I, I didn't even get time to practice this. This is such a last minute speech I'm about to do in front of 300 people. Yo, we're about to build some massive myelin, some skills. Let's do it. Let's find out where this garage is though. So. All right, it's the moment of truth. We're walking on campus, videographer. Oh. We're going to the psychology building. I think, it's, I think it's that one. Yeah, I think it's this one. Excuse me, is this the psychology building? Okay, thank you. Sick, thank you. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, rest in peace when your boy does not account. So here we are. Uh, I was told 300 kids, there's only 70. Uh, seats for 70. I mean, I could be wrong. It could be a lot more people. So normally, uh, I usually have time to prepare, but not really. So I just wrote all my stuff down in bullet points on the, on the napkin. Let's do it. I go into this heavily on the 13th, but B is your beliefs. So. B is your beliefs, <coughs> P is your potential, oh, potential. I look like a D, my man. Yeah. A is, yeah, bro, I'm so sorry. <laughs> a is for action. So it's basically, it's, a, it's, a, it's called the success cycle. It's how you can change one of these things to obtain a different result. We just finished the speech and holy shit, I had nothing, no idea what to say, nothing. Blue right through. I feel super high right now off of the excitement and the endorphins. Yeah. And my boy, yeah, he killed he was it. There. He killed it. He fucking slayed He's it. there, treating us as some Jimmy Hula's right now. Listen, this guy's dropping some 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 knowledge on the acting. All right, drop that. All right. So every character has a deeper wish. So a deeper wish is like basically like throughout the entire story, there is one thing that uh, stays true to the character throughout the entire story. For example, like in uh, Lord of the Rings, Frodo, his deeper wish has to do with the shrine. Um, so, I'll just explain this to Omid. Oh, is that, is oh, that the egg? She brought me the egg? Oh, oh she brought the egg! Oh, <laughs> lit! 
right. Um, yeah, so your deeper wish was like the fact that you're like, you say it all the time, like you're a huge personality, playful. Yeah. So like the entire time you were speaking, Great feedback. I kept getting that like throughout the entire, the entire talk, the entire keynote. Surround yourself Solid. with awesome people like that. Solid. All right, it is now almost 1 a.m. and I just got home. It was two hours there, two hours back. And you know what fucking blows my mind is that if you were to give me the, this task of like, hey, let's do it, I need you to do an impromptu speech last minute. A couple years ago, I wouldn't be able to do it. And I'd freak out and I'd have all these stories and limitations telling me as to why I can't do what I want to do. <clears throat> to be able to rock it out and get the level of feedback that I did, shout out everyone at University of Central Florida for that. And there's no better feeling than getting into your house. <laughs> but honestly, hard work, consistency, and literally consistent action, man, does it pay off. Oh.